What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Old Frederick, look at him. Look at him. He's happy. And there's one reason why. He knows something that a lot of you guys don't know. Big news coming at y'all. I'm going to save it for here in a little bit because I got a lot to show you. We, uh, Basically, I just got a lot to show and tell you, a ton. So first off, we're gonna kick it off with the pigeon loft. You guys have been asking for pigeon updates, loft updates, loft updates, trapping pigeon on the rooftops, updates. There are some videos to come on trapping, believe you me. But before we get going here with a ton of new news, I gotta tell you first and foremost, today is the last day to receive 15% off all of the ducks hats on the duckswaterfowl.com website just like this one here we ran out of these for like one day you all have loved these blades mesh back camo hats we stocked completely up so like i said today is the last day 15% off all ducks hats i haven't got to show them all to you boom boom this one i really like this one boom oh oh boy yeah, 15% off even that old cup ducks hat. Bottomland hat, the old khaki hat, oh yeah. But 15% off today, today only, last day. So get them while you can, guys. Save you some jack. I'll link them all in the description below. So now, before we get into the pigeon loft here, we need to feed them, we need to water them. But real quick, y'all have been loving the Alberta Canada hunts, the duck hunts, the goose hunts. There are two more left to come. I think I'm gonna upload my favorite one tomorrow, which is a duck hunt. It's a three man small, the, the smallest hunt we did the whole time, three man little duck hunt. And we limited out on three different species of ducks. It was insane. We were decoying them, some of them as close to seven yards. It was insane. So that video goes up tomorrow, and then there's one more after that. And it'll probably go up Saturday. And then, what I'm gonna tell you here in a little bit, that's the big news. So just stay tuned with me here. But the pigeon loft, it is doing amazing. Check it out. Y'all have been dropping tons and tons of comments, being like, Bob, dude. I subscribed over the summer. Check it out, old white all bred mama. She laid two more eggs. The babies, the white babies, they're not babies anymore. You can barely tell them different from the parents. The only way you can tell is just the body size. Like uh, that's one of the babies behind both mom and dad there. So we're gonna have more full bred white pigeons on the ground. And then in this side, we got the black and white mama, and then that guy there who just dipped out, they laid two more. So, that right there is one of the blue bar babies, not looking so much like a baby anymore. That's his brother and or sister uh, above him. That one is one of the parents. That's old Clark up there chilling. Oh yeah, looking good though. But I need to clean out the bottom of the loft, uh, get a bunch of new grit in there for them. Um, it's starting to cool off. As you can tell, I got a long sleeve shirt on. By the way, it's that new hoodie shirt from Ducks. Oh yeah, new color. They're bad. I've been loving them. They're comfortable, man. But we do need to change the pigeon's water here. Ugh, not looking too good. They got enough food for a little while though. I need to come up with a new water bowl system. Something that doesn't uh, get so dirty so fast and something that holds more water, that's for sure. But let's change it out for them. Those young birds are not very smart. So what they end up doing is standing in the water, preening, cleaning themselves off, pooping in it. Everything that I don't want them to do pretty much. The young birds, they're just not very bright. One of the uh, all bred white ones must have got their legs stuck in the fencing somewhere. I can't figure out where it was, but must have got it stuck. And literally, it's when I was gone in Canada, my dad sent me a picture. He was taking care of him at the time. And that whole leg of that bird was bloody and it's already healed up and stuff. But like I said, the young birds, they're just not very smart. They get themselves into predicaments. They make a mess of stuff. <laughs> the mature birds in there, they get sick of them. They get annoying, you can tell. But update on the loft, there you go. It's small, it's growing, uh, lots of breeding going on in there. My birds are breeding very, very well. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, we're probably gonna have to take some of them out uh, once we end up having too many babies and it starts getting really crowded. 
going to have to probably take some over to Jordan's big loft barn. A lot of you have seen that, so there we go. On to another little update. Oh yeah, you can tell I'm out here working on the boat. <laughs> Got to build the boat blind. Um, I didn't think it was going to be such an undertaking, but it is. Uh, you got to get it all lined up right. I mean, it is an undertaking. It's an undertaking to do it right. I want it done right, so I've been taking my time on it. Direction says two to four hours installation, but I'm taking a couple days to make sure it's all done right. I don't want it to be done cheesy. Again, this is the one I'm giving away for the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month subscriber that we'll be picking at the end of the season. But it's coming along. It's going to be nice. Four man, we can uh, hunt out of this. Gonna do a lot of lake hunting. Gonna do a lot of public marsh hunting. But honestly, I'm excited for the lake hunting. I wanna get out on some big lakes this year. Big public lakes, you know what I'm saying? I haven't got to do that very much. So be expecting a lot of content to come from the boat. Oh, the old flower chair where it all started. You guys miss these videos. Oh, hi puppies. Look, I come to the flower chair and everybody goes, oh, look, dad's in the garage. <laughs> so today's video, it is what it is. We're at home. I need to update you on a lot of stuff. Uh, coming back from Canada, it's just a whirlwind. So busy, cranked out videos. We cranked out six videos when I was up there. Jeremy, he just put us on the birds and we cranked out. So like I said, two more videos coming from the Canada Alberta hunts. Two good videos. Uh, tomorrow's is, like I said, is my favorite hunt that we had up there by far. Fred here. Here, Fred. Come here, Fred. But on to the big news, like I promised. Old Frederick, he's going on his first big trip. So y'all have been requesting. You've been like, Bobby, you should have took Fred to Canada. Look, I wanted to. I wanted to badly. But flying him all the way up there and everything and trying to crank out as many vids as I could up there and handling Fred, it would have been fine. I'm now looking back. But before I knew anything, that was my first time flying with a gun. You know what I'm saying? So, But y'all have been requesting that the Ducks crew gets back together and we do some hunting. It's about time, right? Myself, old Bradley from here, the guy with the camera all the time, he's going. And then Brad from Ducks and Austin, old Bond's daddy, he's going as well. And old Frederick. We're all five. <laughs> all of us boys, we're heading to North Dakota. North Dakota in the recent week has absolutely loaded up with the Mallards, y'all. If you guys are on Instagram and you follow a lot of waterfowl hunting over there, you will you have seen that uh, Canada got some snow. They got a couple rounds of snow already. Not a bunch, but it got really cold. It has shoved the ducks into North Dakota. So, the ducks crew, old Frederick, we're all going to be headed up north, North Dakota, with old Dirty Bird, Nick from Dirty Bird. That's who we're going to be hunting with. The guys that I was with just a month ago in August, going to be back up there mallards in the field they got a side by side with tracks on it it's gonna be insane and uh fred he knows he knows i've been telling him we're gonna be going bye bye look at him he knows i'm telling you don't you buddy you ready to go you ready to go get some ducks in your mouth buddy yeah Oof. we've been getting a lot of rain i'm sure a lot of you guys throughout the midwest have been getting a lot of rain as well fall is coming the cold is coming. It's knocking on the back door, you know. It'll be only a couple weeks, and it's going to be hoodie season. It's going to be... A lot of you guys are already in hoodie season. I've been waiting for the cold weather. Coming back to Kansas from Canada, uh, I went from uh, a high of 60, maybe. Lows down in the 30s. Came back home to 85 and 90 degrees. Uh, this is actually one of the first days that it's been like this in the 60s. Low 60s. But I hope you guys are ready for duck and goose hunting to be cranking up in your guys' estates. It's literally, guys, right around the corner. Get ready. Y'all need to be getting the decoys ready. Y'all need to be cleaning them shotguns. Y'all need to be stocking up on the ammo. And y'all need to be practicing them duck calls and the goose calls, I'm telling you. You can't get better if you don't practice. But like I said, the hats, last day to get them at 15% off. Save yourself some money, pick yourself up a new ducks hat, you won't regret it. And when you do, you guys all know the spiel. And it's true. Every one of your guys' purchases from duckswaterfowl.com goes directly to supporting the channel and me bringing you guys more of these videos. So I appreciate you guys so much.
You guys have been killing it on the notification squad too. There's a lot of you homies out there that hit that notification bell down there. And you guys have been telling me down in the comments, Noti squad, Noti gang. Hey, gang, gang, let's get it going here. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. I've had so much support coming back from Canada. I've had so much support the last month now that duck hunting's here. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to be out here doing this and enjoying my life like I want to. I appreciate it. I appreciate that I can give you guys videos to relate to. That's my ultimate goal is to make duck hunting videos that you guys can learn from, relate to, sit back and enjoy. You know what I mean? But sincerely from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Lots of waterfowl hunting to come. And we just did a pigeon hunt video with old Frederick. So be expecting that in the next few days too. But until next time. Peace.